Rise and Shine, Ethan Carl Brubaker. You mind uh, if we ask you a couple questions? Yeah. All right, number one. Does any distinct real number x exist such that x is greater than 1.999 repeating, but is smaller than 2? Yeah. What is the last show that you binge watched? Atlanta. What's your favorite band? Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Ethan, how is he so cool? Because I wear things like these. How are you so charming and muscular? I ask myself that every day. What's the airspeed of a airspeed velocity of a swallow? African or European. What's your favorite vine? Uh, welcome to Chili's. Eat question mark? But this isn't empty. What song could you listen to all day? Uh, Red Bull by Childish Gambino. Do you believe that the invisible hand is active in the markets? Oh yeah. Do you love me? You know it. Do you re do you really get good luck if you kiss someone Irish? I wouldn't know. Do you kiss your dad? I don't know. Let me ask him. Wait for it. Hey, Dad. Yes? Do I kiss you? How many times have I told you not to ask me that question? <laughs> Obviously, your therapy hasn't been going well. Oh, I'm okay. sorry, Dad. Okay. What is something you want to try in college? Stand-up comedy. What do you do when you're home alone? Uh, either blast rap music or 90s punk rock. What is someone that, something that no one knows about you? Uh, when I was younger, I sent a resume and letter to Nickelodeon, and I've yet to hear back. Oh, nice. Mellinger or Hagen? Oh, well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's all good, man. Uh, how are you the most like Oprah? Oh, I love bread. If you could marry one president, which one would you marry? Oh, Teddy Roosevelt. That mustache gets me every time. Why should people support the Boys and Girls Club? Uh, well, they do great things for youth and ensure that uh, children have a safe place to go after school where they can learn viable skills, but also life skills, and just ensure that they live a happy life in the future. Nice. Thank you. Good morning, Ephrata. You asked, we answered. That's right. The results are in. According to our poll, the singular form of broccoli <laughs> is indeed broccolis. Nobody asked that. Wait, really? Yeah. It's okay. Okay. I I'm I'm Edwin. And I'm leaving. Okay. It's March thirteenth. Please rise from moment of silence in the pledge of the flag. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Sir Shamrock is a charity event run by the National Honor Society. <clears throat> Over the years, Sir Shamrock has raised money and awareness <clears throat> for the American Cancer Society, Alzheimer's Society, Shriver's Pediatric Hospital, the Humane League, and many more organizations that help support our society's needs. Oh, uh, hey, I didn't see you there. Each Sir Shamrock candidate will try to win your support and donations for their charity. This year, our candidates are Seth Bollinger, Hey! E Ethan Brubaker, Aaron Cummings, AJ Morales, and Mark Shoskowski. You can vote for your favorite candidate by placing your extra change or dollars in their charity jugs at lunch, March 12 through 16. And I'll see you there. At the end of the competition, the Sir Shamrock candidate with the most donations will win the contest. Be crowned Sir Shamrock live at 4 a.m. and make a huge donation of all the money raised by all five candidates to his chosen charity. Ephrata, what are you doing here, you silly goose? <laughs> Stay tuned this coming week for videos of each Sir Shamrock candidate. They will, share, they will share with you why you should use your donations to vote for their charity. Don't forget to vote at lunch all of this week. There. Tomorrow, a representative from Marywood University will be here at 1.15. Any students interested in meeting with this representative, please see Mrs. Dinsler in the counseling office. 
What are you doing here, you <laughs> sly goose? Have you ever wanted to help dogs and cats? I know I have. The Cloister FFA is holding a pet supply donation drive for the pet pantry of Lancaster County. Donations that are accepted include... Mm. Hey, unopened dog and cat food, food and water dishes, toys, scotch tape, paper towels, gently used blankets and towels, kitty litter, leashes and collars, and Dawn dishwashing soap. What a coincidence seeing you here. Donations are being accepted now until March 30th. Donation boxes are located in the high school lobby, Conestoga Animal Hospital, and the Effort of Public Library. The Cloister FFA thanks you in advance for thinking of the animals. Is that you? You've noticed some changes as we've packed up the media center renovation. The time has come. It's looking emptier than my DMs. All classes, study halls, flex obligation times, NHS passes, etc. will no longer be accepted in the library beginning March 19th. The last day to use the media center and its resources for any reason is March 16th. Thanks for your understanding as we prepare to create a fantastic space for you. Now we're going to Seth, please sign the Ethan's DMs, following her. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say, I would go with the pancakes. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> and see you there. I was just sliding into Jeremy Bischoff's DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Turkish forces have announced the success of a plan to encircle Kurdish forces in Afrin, a city in northern Syria. It has been several weeks now since Erdogan began his international offensive against the Syrian Kurds and invaded Syrian territory due to, Kurdish, to Turkish paranoia over the regional Kurdish militia's growing power in northern Syria. Turkey also claims that they have ties to the, PK, the PKK, a Kurdish leftist secessionist party in southern Turkey that opposes the Erdogan regime. The veracity of this claim is unknown, but doubtful. Kind of like me sliding into Ethan's DMs. On this day in 1942, the quartermaster, quartermaster corps of the U.S. Army began to train dogs for the new war dog program called the Canine Corps. Get it? Because canine is the dog, and then canine. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, over a million dogs had served in World War I, carrying messages throughout the mazes of trenches and providing psychological comfort to the soldiers. The practice of training dogs was abandoned until World War II, when the quartermaster corps was tasked with gearing the seven accepted breeds of dog for war. If you're interested, look up Chips the German Shepherd, the hero of the canine unit who was awarded the Silver Star and the Purple Heart. What a guy. Or dog. <laughs> now over to the main desk with lunch. Efforta, is that you? <laughs> for lunch today, we have a carnitas burrito roll, grilled chicken patty slash cheese slash wood roll, Papa Juan's pizza, and bologna and cheesy sandwich. Ephraim, is that you? Whoa! Uh, we also have fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin, buffalo chicken salad, fiesta beans, steamed broccoli, grape tomatoes and dip, assorted fresh fruit, or that. Seth? Slushy! Switch the camera to me! Okay! <laughs> Hey, I did not see you there. In sports resorts, boys tennis team opened their season yesterday versus Northern Lebanon, but we don't have a score. And sometimes it's just not about the score, sometimes it's about, it's about doing your best. Today in sports, volleyball and baseball are at home and lacrosse is away at Spring Grove. Now back to the main desk. Cocalico? Did I get Ephrata. it? Ephrata. Oh, it's oh, it's Ephrata. Oh, yeah. Attention all students currently enrolled in AP courses. This Friday, March 16th, is the deadline to register for this year's AP exams. If you are interested, shut up, Ethan. Be sure to see your AP teacher or stop by the counseling office for an exam order form and AP student bulletin. ASAP. We do not have this form and your $15 deposit for each exam that you are planning on taking by the end of the day on Friday. We cannot order an exam for you. If you have questions, please make an appointment to see your counselor through Mrs. Ditzler right away. Hey, Ephrata. Oh, we haven't seen each other since, like, senior year. Uh, ninth grade future leaders. Hobie Leadership is looking for 6th and ninth graders from EHS to attend a one-day leadership workshop in Lancaster 
on Saturday, April 14th. This is an excellent opportunity to develop our leadership skills and connect with other future leaders. To be considered to attend, submit a one-page essay to, to the guidance office on the following topic by March 19th. Why would you like to attend the leadership workshop and how would you uh, use your leadership skills developed there to improve a effort at high school? Hey there, Efren and Vsauce Edwin here. This week is Abedum Spirit Week. We will be selling cake park days after school on Thursday, March 15th. Our theme for this Abedum Spirit Week is We Are Lucky to Have You. Today, Gold Day. Wear gold or yellow. Wednesday, Tie-Dye Day. Thursday, Heritage Day. Wear colors or flags from where you're from. Friday, Abedum Day. Wear Abedum shirts or yellow and black. That's it. Have a <laughs> crop dust day. I thought that said coup d'etat. <laughs> I don't get it. Whoa! Whoa! Well,